<laughs> What's up, you homies? It's your homegirl, Natalie, and I'm here with... Kati. <laughs> I'm a Kati, a Kati. For today's video, I wanted to show you a how-to style an inverted triangle. I always thought I was an inverted triangle, but after remeasuring myself, I'm not. I'm actually a rectangle, and I was like, oh. I didn't notice that. I didn't even so, know that was a shape. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it is a shape. <laughs> <laughs> on a <the> body. <laughs> so I decided to ask Kathy if she could come over as my resident inverted triangle. Saying it loud and proud. There's two different ways of dressing for this body type. Number one, it's either to create balance because your shoulders are wider than your hips, or number two, it's just to highlight the fact that you have an inverted triangle, which more power to you. I mean, have you found it difficult to find clothes or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, definitely, especially in the summer when you want to wear shorts, and oh. most of the shorts, you know, if you go to Rainbow. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. I don't know if these people know about rainbow, girl. I don't if know. If you know rainbow, know. then you know. Them shorts are very tight, and then the tops can be very flaring, and it just doesn't look good on me. Mm -hmm. I noticed. So after meeting Natalie, I have bought some nice shorts that flare out at the bottom, and that really helped me, and it made me feel better about myself. Yay! Yay! Natalie to save the day and your self-esteem. <laughs> Either way, most important thing is that you feel good mm -hmm. and you feel comfortable. Because I can tell you this, that whatever you could wear and if you're like, you know what, this isn't my style or this doesn't really resonate with me, then it's not going to look good. Oh, and I'll also be showing you how to switch something that typically is a big no for inverted triangles into a, yeah, girl, that works type of thing. Posture is super important. So if you wanna make your shoulders look smaller, then just bring them on back. I think we should all practice good posture. If you've ever thought that your shoulders were quite broad or anything, if you just try bringing them back, they might not actually be as broad as you thought. If you bring them forward, then obviously your shoulders are going to be more noticeable, but there's nothing wrong with that. With having broad shoulders, I personally feel like you could really have a lot of fun with creating really cool shapes with your bodies, especially with your bodies, with your body, especially in photos. I think it's also easier for you to kind of switch from like a softer to more of an edgy look well i guess everyone can do that with their bodies you know it's all about like posture and and poses and stuff when i think of an inverted triangle i always think of lisa from blackpink because her duality though is like bam bam other basics always focus on making your hips look bigger it'll balance you out also high-waisted everything especially for inverted triangles you always really need to define your waistline and especially if you are inverted triangle with a long torso then yes focus Focusing on your waist and making sure that your waist is defined is very important. Make your upper body smaller with wearing things like crop tops, t-shirts, anything that just softens up your shoulders. So no super harsh edges that really just highlight your shoulders if that's not what you're trying to do. Also, if you like showing off your arms and wearing any type of tank top would be great for you. You could also highlight your chest or your neckline. You would be just taking that attention away from your shoulders and more onto a really beautiful neckline or your really nice boobs. If you're wearing anything that is showing off your shoulders, like just bare skin, that's always gonna make it look not as broad, not as wide, so keep that in mind. All right, now focusing on the lower half of your body. If you're trying to wear jeans, make sure it's anything like mom jeans, boyfriend jeans, balloon leg, wide leg jeans. This will help in making your hips look bigger. Super skinny jeans is only going to highlight the fact that your hips are small and then your body's just gonna go like Mew. You know, and of course, with all these bottoms, high waisted everything. I just high waisted, just high waist your life, you know, spice up your life. Mm -hmm. High waist your life, everybody, you know. Overall, like with this video, my main goal is, is just to get you comfortable in your body shape. I want you to be like, oh, actually, okay, this does look good. Then eventually you just look at your body in a more positive way. And then you're going to be able to branch out and do new things. Cause you're like, hey, yeah, technically these clothing items wouldn't look the best on me, but like, I just really want to wear them. So I'm just going to wear them, bring out that inner confidence. So anyways, okay, back to the video. <laughs> with that said, now let's get into some outfits. For this outfit, I first gave her a shirt. Oh, there's no harsh edges. So it softens up her shoulders. I'm showing off her midriff because one again we're trying to define her waistline and so when you're showing skin there it's highlighting there so it's putting that attention there also put her in my thrifted jeans it's creating that space on her hips so it looks like her hips are bigger and of course a belt a lot of people tend to skip out on belts and I was definitely one person that did belts help you out so much because they clearly show you okay that's her waist you know 
I think she looked amazing in this outfit. For this other look, we're doing the highlighting your chest area. As you can see, this shirt, it does add in, you know, a little bit here. Again, because we're putting that attention onto her chest, you don't really notice her shoulders as much. And again, we are showing off her waist with a little midriff. I mean, like, I just personally love that you don't have to do that all the time. And yeah, and I put her in these white jeans. That, it's so funny, like three people have worn these jeans myself, Janet and Kathy. On Kathy, it's a little bit more baggy the fact that it is baggy is also making her hips look bigger this was such a cute outfit oh the formula for a lot of these outfits is again i'm not adding any additional volume to them more so focusing on the bottom so being that we made her hips bigger focusing right onto her waistline so we are defining it balances out for skirts and shorts always tight at the waist and flared at the bottom so for this skirt outfit she looks super cute here again i went for a tighter shirt and but keep in mind that kathy is smaller than me so um, that's why that shirt looks kind of big on her. And that's why there's also kind of like a puff sleeve going on. It doesn't matter that it puffs out because the skirt flares out so much that it creates what children? Balance. So we're all good anyways. Okay, for the shorts outfit, she was so surprised when she saw herself in the mirror. She's like, oh my God, my waist. I mean, cause I was really like, Phew. I really like cinched that belt in. And by doing so, of course, like it made her waist look smaller, but by adding in those flared shorts, it looked even more snatched. And then of course I had to give her that, you know, midriff. We did like a little insta tuck because already her waist is looking smaller. And now we're gonna put in like more focus by like just showing off her midriff. Because that's just what I like to do. Clearly you don't have to do that. You could like wear the shirt regularly, regularly. Shirt regularly, regularly, regularly. You wear it regularly. For dresses like shorts and skirts, you wanna wear anything that flares out or is tighter at the waist. When I was trying to figure out like what dresses to put her in, we had a couple like failed attempts, but then I was like, wait a minute, this dress, I know it's gonna look good. Why? Because this dress is specifically made, like goes out, goes in at the waist and then flares out at the bottom. And this just looked so good on her. You know, I've been like, define the waistline, define the waistline. I mean, not always does it need to be snatched here. If you have that like flowiness of it, it already like shows like, okay, there's her waist. Like we didn't even put in a belt or anything because it's already giving her that shape. I know this dress is like a mini dress and you could use that same flare on the bottom also for dresses that are longer. So maxi dresses um, or anything that has like a ruffle on the bottom is also going to help you out too. Okay, this is like a bonus outfit. Oh my God, these are so oversized on me. It's just like, just try these on for shits and giggles. First of all, your body looks amazing in that. I've been saying like high waisted everything. But just how it fit on like her hips, man. Like we added in a bandeau and you're giving me like TLC vibes. The 90s style is coming back also. They're so baggy. It just works that you don't have to be like high-waisted. I mean, we were really surprised. I was it weird that I like it because I really like it. She's like, no, this actually looks really good. I don't know if this might be everyone's cup of tea, but hey, if you got it, flown it. So now we're getting to typical things to avoid. But like I said, I'm going to show you how we can switch that up into something that you can wear. Number one the skinny jeans. Skinny jeans will only highlight the fact that your hips are smaller than your shoulders. It's really like whoop. So instead try to wear something like a boot cut jean. I actually was trying to find like a boot cut jean for Kathy, but <laughs> literally like all my boot cut jeans were more so just straight leg on her because she's a lot smaller than I am. And also with boot cut jeans, like it's still tight, but it doesn't like 100% highlight your smaller lower half. If you really still want to wear skinny jeans, what I think you should do is just still wear something that's nice and fitted up top. You could also throw on the blazer so it, the tension doesn't fully go to your hips. So we went with a t-shirt and then I went ahead with some skinny jeans that you know aren't as skinny on her because again, they're mine. The number one thing you gotta make sure is that you're defining your waist. And this looks all right, but like I said beforehand, accessories are everything. So just see how this outfit without the belt and now with the belt. Clearly see, okay, that's her waist. That part is defined. So now her body looks more balanced. And then I just added in a little denim blazer cause I was like, you know what? She's wearing that Sailor Mars. Let's just like add in some more red. <laughs> Make sure that your waist is still defined. The number two thing, shoulder pads, poofy sleeves, busy patterns, ruffle tops, off the shoulder tops. They always say that inverted triangles should not cause it's only going to focus the fact that your shoulders are broad even more. Like I said, all about balance. So if you balance out the bottom half with something that gives you more shape to your hip or is wide leg or flares out, it'll work fine. I put Kathy in my very iconic outfit, my pink ruffle shirt and my high-waisted green pants. You could clearly see that her shoulders are bigger than her hips, 
but because we are one showing off her waist and the pants are so wide it just creates that balance and it just works out so you know don't ever be like oh my god i can't wear this because it's only going to make this look bigger no dude it's just like balance it out all right so that is it for me i'm gonna uh, pass you on to pass natalie and kathy we changed <laughs> hey you made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching all the way hopefully you're still watching if not fuck yeah no i'm kidding <laughs> She said it, I did it, I thought it. Yeah, let us know which outfit was your favorite. I definitely got a couple of my faves. Some any little remarks. When it comes to clothing, a lot of people always tell me like, everything looks good on you. And it's like, no, not really. There's a lot of things that I try on and I'm like, this looks really bad. But obviously I'm not gonna buy something that doesn't look good on me. <laughs> Keep that in mind when you see whether it's me or anyone that's on social media, you're like, oh my God, why do they look so good? It's like, maybe because they know, yeah, what looks good on them. They won't show you what looks bad on them. <laughs> Only as a before thing, <laughs> never as an after. Yeah, so it's not because your body doesn't look good Maybe more so that you're just buying the wrong clothes for your body. Mm -hmm. So I've improved. Yeah, you have I remember in the beginning of our friendship There was many times where I'm like man if I could just <laughs> if I could just slap the like, clothes out of me Hey girl, you know what? <laughs> what if we try? And I found what I like crop tops That's my style because I realized that I can accentuate my waist a little more by doing that and wearing Larry stuff Just showing your midriff like that little mm -hmm. inch of flesh right here it's like a good way of creating some shape and in the same sentiment there are also times where I do wear things that don't look good on me like for example anything the waist isn't defined I know that does not look good on me and especially because I'll just end up looking pregnant but you know what pregnant people they cool there's a reason why we're here right <laughs> so ain't nothing wrong looking pregnant sometimes <laughs> what if i look pregnant that's the style i'm going for today maybe someone will offer me their seat in the subway mm. i say burritos but still delicious mm. right i mean what because <laughs> yeah, yeah. i look like a burrito when i wear those big dresses but i still like it at the end of the day if you feel really cool in that outfit it doesn't matter what i'm gonna say what anyone else is gonna say because you're like Fuck yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm dressing for me, I'm not dressing for you or for anyone else. Do you, boo, oh, oh, oh. Okay, and with that, we'll let you go. Hope you guys are, oh, what? You guys. <laughs> I hope you're saying sail, say, sailing? Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks again, Kathy, for coming over. You're welcome. Oh yeah, comment, like, subscribe, give this video two big thumbs up because you probably got two Gmail accounts that will not be a liar. We all know you got two Gmail accounts, okay? <laughs> Bye! I don't. You're a liar. Bye! I